Hey, what is up, guys? Sangabella here now. The um, I'm gonna tell you about um some questions as to what you should ask yourselves um about the belief in a god. Um, as you already know, I am an atheist. I, I do uh, video game contents mostly, but eventually, you know, occasionally I would just do random videos here and there. Not not too much though. But I want to go on a topic um as to why you should question your belief and why you should um, think about your life choices and all that. And um, yeah, let's get started. So um, there are many questions as to why you should, you know, question the existence of God. Like, for example, like uh, sin and, you know, the Ten Commandments. If God really was worried about all this... Um, you know, why, why can't he just rewind time? Is he not God? Like, can he not do anything? <clears throat> that That's one of the questions that led me to being an atheist. Um, Another question is, God is all-knowing, but yet he continues to create evil when he's going to condemn us straight to hell if they don't repent and so on. Why create? I mean, how is this a loving God? You really have to ask yourself this question. Uh, like, why will he create evil if he's just going to condemn it? I mean, hey, look, I I'm going to show you a good example. <clears throat> I created this beautiful artwork, okay? Hey, look, I'm scribbling on it. Why? Why, why will he do this? That, that's why I'm wondering, like, why would he create just to condemn? Ask yourself that question. Why, why would God do that? Uh, why did God also um, bring the t decide to bring the Ten Commandments, you know, after Genesis and, you know, Noah's flood and all that? Like, after he got done smiting everyone and drowning everyone. Oh, look, hey, guys, I know I killed everyone, but... Here's the rules, okay? Right there. He waited till halfway through the Bible, you know, just to give that middle finger, you know, a good flip off. What's the point of that? I never got that. <clears throat> um, in Genesis, um, I also want to elaborate that um, before Adam bit into the fruit, he was tempted, right? Adam and Eve both were tempted. Isn't temptation part of the sin? Sam was always there, and so was death, by the way, because, again, dinosaurs died before humans even existed, so death was already into the world before humans came in. Um, me and my friend was um, <clears throat> having this conversation the other day, like, why can't God just, you know, turn back time and start over, you know, if he was really worried about this happening? Like, it's such a flawed design, such a flawed plan. The fact that we can't breathe underwater or how we get sunburned easily, it's such a flawed design. We have to eat to survive, and it's it's crazy. And uh, Noah's Ark couldn't have happened because thermodynamics and fossil records disproves Noah's flood completely. Fossil record shows no layers whatsoever of any animals or humans trying to swim upwards. If you could find one layer of fossil demonstrating this, you could change the world. Even Bill Nye mentions this, that you could change the entire world by doing this, by finding this fossil record, but there is none. And Jesus did believe in this Noah tale, by the way, which means he was not the son of God. He was a false prophet if he was an actual person. So with that said, there was no Moses. There was no Genesis story. There was no Noah's flood. There may have been like a, a close by flood, but it wasn't global. It wasn't worldwide, but most Christians would also acknowledge this too, but in their Bible it says that there was a worldwide flood that drowned the entire world, the animals and humans. Before I stop with this video, 
Ask yourself one thing. If you were God, would you have done things better? Like, would you have done things in a more smartly manner? Just really apply critical thinking and uh, logic to your fallacies, Theus, and, um, you know, think about it. Think about it. See you guys.